welcome to another episode of Focus On with me, Yamo Hedzo Mosepele. Africa's demand for technology is on the rise as smartphone sales increase, internet access expands, and finance models continue to innovate. Today, we speak to two key leaders from ANA who will be sharing some of their latest innovations and penetration into the African market. Joining me for more is Daniel Wang, the president for Middle Eastern Africa, ANA, as well as Fred Zhou, the CEO for ANA South Africa. ANA has come a long way since its inception in 2013. Just kindly walk us through uh, your performance globally, but more specifically in the Middle Eastern Africa. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm happy to be here to introduce the company, the, uh, our brand and our performance uh, in the past two years. Honor was uh, ranked number two uh, in China in the past two years and uh, we achieved top five brand in uh, Latin America, uh, Middle East and uh, Africa, Europe and uh, East Asia. And uh, I think, uh, especially in Middle East, uh, in 2023, uh, we uh, achieved 123 uh, yeah, volume share, uh, volume sales incremental. And uh, this year, up to date, we achieved 62% six, six, growth uh, in this market. Uh, we do, uh, do uh, uh, believe that Honor brand is the number one uh, uh, fastest growth brand in this region. So you've painted a picture on Honor's growth and its presence as well. I want us to look at the Middle East and Africa. How does Honor uh, stand out and set itself apart from other competitors in the region? I think yeah, Middle East and Africa region uh, is a very dynamic market for Honor brand. I think, yeah, this, this region, the character, uh, the consumer, I think is more young and more uh, ambition here. So, uh, owner wants to stand up in this region. The first thing is that human-centric innovation. Yeah, we will have the innovation in our product for the camera, for the design, for the software experience, all these things. This is number one. Number two is, uh, yeah, we know that AI is the next generation, uh, techn technology generation. Honor has uh, full uh, AI approach to, uh, to provide the AI technology to our, con con to our consumer, to meet the consumer need. And uh, AI, I think, Honor is the first brand which introduced AI for the mobile device. We have a full range of AI uh, structure to connect uh, the different products from the mobile phone to the laptop uh, to the PCs. And even we have the operating uh, the system to connect different operating system from Microsoft to the Android. And even we have the AI capability for the application to improve the, the camera to catch the, the good picture to the consumers. Even we can have the on-device AI capability to link the iCloud, the capability to let our consumer have a better experience to the, to the, to the, uh, to the AI, for the AI meeting, for the face-to-face the, the -face translation, all these functions. And uh, even I think Honor have the strategy to lead in, uh, in the technology. We invest a lot in the, in the R&D. Uh, every year, Honor invests about uh, over 11.5% in the R&D uh, uh, investment. This can enable us yeah, to uh, get more innovation in the product. Uh, product. I think uh, yeah, all this strategy uh, go holistic, we can have a, uh, yeah, good performance in this region. You've mentioned AI and more importantly, uh, some of the innovations that ANA has pioneered. What are some of the uh, target markets or the uh, markets that you particularly prioritize 
within the Middle East and Africa? Yeah, I, I think yeah, Middle East and uh, Africa is very, very important for us. Uh, in Africa, the top one market is South Africa because South Africa have a big po uh, population and uh, the, here uh, I think the uh, South America, uh, uh, Africa people, they like some new technology, some new brands, some, some new products, yeah, just to meet their needs. And uh, the sec second in the Middle East is Saudi Arabia and uh, UAE uh, market and uh, uh, even uh, the, the Levant, this market. This is a top uh, four uh, market. And uh, one more is Iraq market, top five market in this region. And just uh, looking ahead, looking into the future, what are some of the plans uh, that is on the cards for ANA as it aims to expand its reach in the Middle East and Africa? I think, yeah, we have the strategy to, uh, to, uh, to uh, do our business in different countries. Uh, uh, each, co each country we have a different uh, one strategy. Uh, we have, that means uh, we have a tailor-made strategy in different markets. For example, South Africa, uh, because the market size is, is, is big uh, in, the, in the whole uh, African market, uh, we, we will provide a full range of the products from the entry level, the affordable product, uh, the X or X series product to the consumer, and even we can provide the mid-tiered product to the, to the middle level uh, the, the, the consumer, our Honor 200 series, you, you can see that. And even we have a premium uh, segment product for Magic series. So this is Magic V3. This is a new generation football product. It, uh, it's the, the thinnest, the lightest AI smartphone. Yeah, I think yeah, can, we have this, we even uh, the, the, the weight is lighter than I, iPhone uh, yeah, 6 Pro, and, uh, but the screen is bigger in, in this, this kind of, uh, yeah, the, the, just like a tablet. Okay, so we have the, the for the product. And uh, in different markets, we have the different strategy to uh, work with our partners for our South Africa, because uh, we have a good relationship with our operators, Watcom, MTN, Telcom, and CLC. Even we work with our, uh, yeah, uh, some big case here with Cellular City and, and other uh, partners here. And uh, even we invest a lot for the marketing. From this year, you can see, yeah, we set up, we, uh, we attend this, this, this event, so, uh, the Africa Com, Africa Com, this event, we just uh, want to, uh, yeah, to inc build our own brand in, in South Africa. And the, in the retail level, even we uh, recruit uh, local staff yeah, to help our customer to understand our product and uh, yeah, to, to use our product to improve their, their life. We are in Cape Town at the AfricaCom Festival. Now, I want to look at Honor as a, an exhibitor as well, uh, particularly speaking to South Africa. Honor has grown quite considerably in this market. Just explain uh, uh, to us that journey and what has uh, happened for this to uh, become the reality today. Uh, as you can see, Honor became, is uh, like exhibitors for AfricaCom. Actually, we have been South Africa for more or less for four years, and uh, we have some tremendous like growth according to the last few years. So the reason has there is actually some reasons behind that. The first thing is South Africa is our strategic countries from global uh, from on the global side, and uh, is like top seven countries globally. And uh, so when we bring all the product to South Africa, we have to have a very Considering like selections, we're getting into the best price, best price point pro product to South Africa and meet the marketing needs. That's one of the main reasons so we can have so fast growth for the last few years. Yeah. So right now, actually, uh, we are uh, proudly to announce actually we are already top two for contract and market and uh, we are top three for overall revenues in South Africa right now. 
So you've mentioned uh, the growth trajectory and also uh, you said it's mainly driven by price. Just walk us through some of the uh, growth trends. Where is the growth uh, uh, concentrated in terms of uh, where you've priced your devices? Okay, so from owner side, from handset side, we have three different series models, which is Magic Series, which is our flagship, and the middle range is our number series, and we also get our engine level X series models to South Africa. So according to the sales trend for the last few years, uh, we have tremendous growth for the middle range, which is our number series, as you can see here from the back on the 200 series and last year on the 98 series. And that's contributes to the majority of the sales and the volume for owner. But at the meanwhile, we also provide the choice for the consumers, which is our flagship Magic Series, Magic V2, Magic V3, and uh, Magic 6 Pro. So by the way, Magic V3 this year has been named by Time is the best invention of 2024. But as a meanwhile, we also know from South Africa we have different like price categories from different for different customers. So we also introduce our X X series, which is our engine level smartphones to the South Africans to meet all the requirements from different customers. So basically, we can say in conclude, all the different price range actually all have a very good sales for the last two years and contribute to the fast growth for owner. And how important is the South African market? And also, what are the future plans you have in place for the region? So, for South Africa, as I just mentioned, right now we are the top seven countries, but uh, we point us as a challenger for South Africa market. So, we want continue for 2024, for until Q3, we have 300% growth compared to last year. So we want to continue this fast growth trend and gap smaller gap small uh, gap the like the this uh, smaller the gap between our competitors, and we want to become uh, industry leaders for South Africa for smartphones and also as you can see here for the IoT products. And that's how we wrap up another episode of Focus On with me, Gamma Mosopili. From me and the CNBC Africa team, it's goodbye for now.